Good evening. This is Volt News Network. This is Dante Steele, and these are your top stories tonight. The militaries of South Korea, the United States, and Japan conducted their first ever trilateral aerial exercise on Sunday in response to evolving North Korean nuclear threats. The training exercise near the Korean Peninsula involved a nuclear-capable US B-52 bomber along with fighter jets from South Korea and Japan. It aimed to implement an agreement between the three countries to increase defense cooperation and boost their joint response capabilities against North Korean threats. While the three nations occasionally hold trilateral maritime drills focusing on anti-submarine or missile defense exercises, Sunday's training marked the first time for them to perform a trilateral aerial drill. North Korea has condemned such joint drills, calling them invasion rehearsals. It is likely to react angrily to Sunday's exercise. The directors of intelligence for the US and other members of the Five Eyes Alliance, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and the UK, met in California to discuss the security threat posed by China. In their first joint television interview, FBI Director Christopher Wray said China represents the defining threat of this era as it conducts widespread espionage and intellectual property theft. The officials warned about China's efforts to steal secrets from a wide range of industries, including technology, healthcare, agriculture, and academics. While welcoming business and academic exchanges with China, Ray said the U.S. does not accept cheating, theft, or repression. China representatives said the allegations were groundless smears. The Western concern is that China now poses the broadest and most comprehensive threat due to its sophisticated global espionage campaign. Two more Israeli hostages have been released from Hamas custody in Gaza, according to officials in Egypt and Israel. The two women arrived in Egypt and were confirmed to be the released hostages. This follows the earlier release of two American hostages last week. The Israeli military says it is conducting training exercises for potential ground operations in Gaza. Troops have been mobilized on the border as Israel prepares for a multilateral operation against Hamas. Airstrikes have continued to be conducted, and tensions remain high as Israel continues to carry out military operations. The potential for further escalation looms, and all we can do is hope for peace. These have been your top stories tonight. The situation in Israel-Gaza shows no sign of slowing down. We will keep you informed. Tune in tomorrow for more Volt News. Good night.